What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video and today we'll be talking about how to utilize your needle threader badge. Of course, there's a lot of ways for this badge to activate, but I found a way to make it more frequent. If you watched my last video, you probably have an idea already that this is more on bounce passes. I just think that it deserves a separate video so we can really talk about it more. And by the way, with this one, we're not going to talk about sweet spots or what's the best upgrade. This is more on how to activate it more. But of course, I'll try to make a rough recommendation at the end. This topic here is really wide, so if you want to add some more info, just leave it in the comment section down below so others can see. So now let's get right into it. So before we go right into the main topic, just want to give you some facts first from my previous video that we can use on this one. First one, in terms of pass speed, Normal passes will get to the catching point much faster than bounce passes. Which makes sense to be honest because bounce passes need to detour to the ground first for a bit before reaching the catcher, unlike with normal passes, it's more direct. Next one, bounce passes are boosted by bullet passer badge as well. I know it doesn't show on the activation, but based on my test, it is being boosted. Next one, Needle Threader Badge doesn't speed up your pass speed. In here, that's no badge in Hall of Fame, and it's about the same. That sequence there activated Hall of Fame Badge on the top one. What the badge does is it gives you better animations to avoid steals, and of course to land the passes on better spots. And now for the main topic, how to utilize this badge more. I was testing for normal versus bounce passes on my last video, and after doing more than 100 of samples on this exact sequence, I realized Needle Feather Badge activates more on bounce passes. Which kinda makes sense to be honest because you probably notice on most badge activations, usually the passer is lunging into one direction or at least it's leaning somewhere when you're passing it, so it means the badge activates on those kinds of passes. And we all know as well that when you're moving and you made a bounce pass, it will usually give you those animations where you lean towards somewhere, which I think the reason why it gives you more chances on triggering the badge. Even on this exact sequence here, probably more than half of my attempts on this one will trigger Needle Feather Badge when I do a bounce pass. But if I do normal passes on that one, it's rare for the badge to activate. I'm not saying that you need to do bounce passes all the time just to activate the badge, no. What I'm trying to say here is that learn when to do bounce passes because that will utilize your Needle Feather more. That's the main point. Now the question is, what is the best time to do bounce passes? With this one guys, I really need your help, so if you know a specific sequence that bounce passes will be really effective, just put it in the comment section down below so others can see. Just try to explain it more so others can fully understand. But for me personally, the main tip that I can give you is do it on pick and roll situations. You gotta be careful though because as I mentioned in my last video, bounce passes are high risk, high reward thing. Like if you angled it really good, you can land the pass in a nice place, but if you force it too much, you will end up with a turnover. So again, if you know some other tips, just leave it in the comment section down below. And just for a rough upgrade recommendation for the badge, with how this badge can really help you in lots of situations, I think it deserves at least bronze. Investing one point on this badge is not really a bad investment, and if you think you need more boost, it's not bad to push it to Hall of Fame as well, given that in terms of playmaking badges, not much badges can save you from turnovers anyway. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.